Hi everyone, my name is Leverick and welcome to Scoop NS2.0 tutorial. Today we will see the first short cases of a pie case category 3 if a JSON center is on the front side. Ok, now we can start it. First we have the variation of a triple sledge case. There's a blocker on the back, two centers that are adjacent and two centers that have to be swapped. For this case we start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r, little r, big r, little r prime. Z prime, little r pr prime, big r, little r, z, little r, big r, little r prime. And it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases we now have the variation of a setup of a triple sledge case. We can see that they have a block on the back. And the difference between these two is that this one, the adjacent centers are on the right side and that the other one is on the left side now. So for the first one, if the adjacent center is on the right side, we start here and do the sledge and hedge cases. So we start here doing a sledge, z, hedge, z prime, hedge, and it's off. Now I will show you again the, this algorithm, but a little different. So. In the, this case we will uh, cancel the moves, so it goes like this, so we start here doing a sledge, little r prime, big r, little r, big r prime, z, and we do here a hedge case but cancelling the last move, so big r, little r prime, big r prime, we cancel here the move. So little r prime, z prime, and we do here the last three moves of the hedge case here. So the little r prime, big r prime, little r, uh, and it's so off. For this case, I will show you another r arc that can also be useful. It goes like this. We start now here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r, z prime, little r prime, big r, little r, big b, little r prime, big r prime, little r, big r, and it's off. And for the other one, if uh, Jason sent us on the left side now, we start here and do again the sledge and hedge cases. So we do here a sledge, z prime, sledge. Z, hedge, and it's off. For this one, I will show you also another arc that can also be use be useful. It goes like this: we start now here and do this arc. Big R, little R, big B, little big R, R prime. Big B prime, little R prime, big B, big R, big B prime, big R prime, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next case, we now have the variation of the U perm. We can see it has two blocks, one in the front, another one in the back, and three centers. That gives in this situation a U perm. For this one, I will show you two algorithms. The first one is the arc that I used before. It goes like this: we start here and do this arc. Little r prime, little l, little r, little l prime. The little r prime, big r prime, big f, little r prime, big r little r and it's off. And the other arc that I use nowadays, so 
we start here and do this arc little r prime big r little r big b prime big r big b little r prime big r prime little r big r prime and it's solved let's do the next cases In the next two cases, we now have the variation of the O perms. There are two, two blocks and three centers that gives in this situation an O perm. And the difference between these two is that this one, the adjacent center, is on the left side and that the other one is on the right side now. So for the first one, if the adjacent center is on the left side, we start here and do this arc. Big R little R prime big R prime little R prime big R little R big R prime Z prime little R prime big R little R and it's solved. And for the other one, if the adjacent center is on the right side now, we start here and do this arc. Little R prime big a little a big a little a prime big a prime little a z big a little a prime big a prime and it's off let's do the next cases In the next cases we now have the variation or of the X perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the adjacent centers are on the left side and the uh, X perms are on this side, on the right, it goes counterclockwise and that the other one, the adjacent centers on the right side now and the X perms are on this side, on the left, it goes clockwise. So for the first one, if the adjacent centers on the left side and the X perm are on this side, it goes counterclockwise. We start here and do this arc. Big R, little R, big R prime, little R. Z2, and we do here the hedge case. Big B, and it's off. And for the other one, if uh, adjacent centers on this side now, on the right, and the X perm uh, in this side, it goes clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Little R prime, big R prime, little R, big R prime, Z2 prime, and we do here the sledge case little b prime and it's solved. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases we now have the variation of the watt perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the adjacent centers on the left side and the watt perm is on this side, on the left it goes um, clockwise. You can see that they have, it has got an arrow on the left and uh, this one we recognize that the adjacent centers on the right side now and the watt perm are on the left side now. It goes counterclockwise. And we see it has an arrow on the right side now. Okay, so for the first one, if the uh, arrow is on the left side, we start here and we do first the sledge case. Now we do here the the arc, so the little r, big r, little r prime, big r prime, little r prime, z prime, little r prime, big r, little r, and it's off. And for this one, if the uh, arrow is now on the right, we start here and we do first the hedge case. Now the arc. So big 
R prime, little r prime, big R, little r, big r, z, big r, little r prime, big r prime, and it's off. Let's do the last cases. In the next two cases we now have the variation of the uh, swirl perms. And the difference between these two is that this one, the adjacent center is on the left side, and the swirl perm on this side, on the right, it goes counterclockwise, and that the other one, the adjacent center is on the right side now, and the swirl perm are on the, this side, on the left, it goes clockwise. So for the first one, if adjacent centers are on the left side, the swirl perm are on this side, in this side, sorry, it goes counterclockwise. We start here and do this arc. Little b prime, little r, little l, little r, little l prime, little r, b, the little b prime, little l prime, and it's all. For this one, I will show you the arc that I have shown um, and the days ago. So yes, it was the arc that I have shown in the 0 0.80 ch challenge. So yes, so for so we start now here and do this arc. Big R prime, the little R, big B, Z, Y prime, little R, big R prime, little r, big r prime, little r prime, and it's off. And for this one, if uh, Jason center is uh, on the right side and the swirl perm on this side, it goes clockwise. We start here and do this arc. Big r, little r prime, z prime, little r prime, z, the little r prime big r little r prime big r little r and it's off okay and that's all the show about the first part of the pie case category three next video will be the second part of this it will be the adjacent center uh, on the back so see you there bye